Welcome back, everybody. Chris Boone is on vacation, and we're going to continue to see the time lapse there with the sun going down. We do have a few clouds that are roaming through the area. A little bit busy in the downtown, but it's been clearing out as we've been getting into these later evening hours. 42 degrees right now for current temperatures. Humidity is sitting at 65%, and winds are coming in from the northeast now at about 5 miles an hour. We're uh, looking around the rest of the region here. We have a lot of 40s. Still a bit warmer in Sonora at 50 degrees at this time, so most of the warmer temperatures are kind of getting pushed further south. We do have a little bit of cooler temperatures coming into Lone Star State, 30s and 40s for the northern half, and then getting into the 50s, a bit into the 60s, especially along the coastline there. So overall, not too bad as we continue getting into these evening hours here. However, you'll notice we do have some snow showers and rain showers as we continue getting into tomorrow. Overnight tonight into tomorrow, and we are going to actually have a little bit of an impact from that as we get into our Sunday here. Not too much going on. We do have a few lower level clouds that are pushing through the area, but we are going to see a possibility of maybe a few sprinkles as we get into early tomorrow morning. Tonight we are dropping to 45 degrees. We will have a few clouds. Wind will be coming in from the east and northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, but tomorrow is going to be a little bit on the windy side. We're expecting wind speeds up to 35 miles per hour from the northwest, gust up to 45 as we get into the early afternoon hours. We will have more sunshine as we get into tomorrow afternoon as well, though. 58 for a high, plenty of wind coming in. Like I said, 15 to 35 miles per hour, gust up to 45 as we continue getting into the second half of our weekend here. And all the counties that are shaded in this yellow color are in a wind advisory, and that's going to be starting at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning until 6 p.m. in the early evening hours. So it's going to kind of be one of those things you want to make sure you hang out of your hat. So we will see, like I said, some very light showers that are going to come through in the morning hours, and that's going to push out by mid-morning. We'll have plenty of clear skies for tomorrow afternoon. And as we head into Monday as well. We're not expecting a whole lot more. And the reason we're not going to be seeing too much rain showers is because we are going to have plenty of dry air just barely getting into the Contra Valley with the higher amounts of moisture. So more of the heavier showers are going to be in the very southeast corner of our region. Otherwise, we're going to continue to have plenty of dry conditions as we head into Monday evening. Breaking down the rest of our seven-day forecast here, those temperatures will steadily decrease down to the lower to low 50s as we get into the middle of the week. We'll have plenty of sunshine Tuesday through Thursday, and then Friday is going to be a little bit on the cloudy side. We will have temperatures hovering by Thursday into next weekend around 60 degrees. You're watching KLST Weekend News at 10. We'll be right back after the break.